Hi, welcome to World Recaps channel. A man receives the magic scissors. He uses them to cut out a drawn apple and it becomes real. What else can be brought to life with their help? And what will he do with his treasure? At the beginning of the story, we are shown a room in which a middle-aged man lives. The inside side is a complete mess, with food wrappers and empty soda cans scattered all over the place. Posters of half-naked girls hang on the wall, and the table is littered with erotic magazines and cigar butts covered in perspiration. The man eagerly searches adult websites to find the right movie to watch at night. Satisfying his desire, he throws the dirty napkins on the floor and goes to bed. He is disturbed from sleep by a knock on the door. The man tries to find out who is behind the door, but no one answers his question. Without any desire, the man still gets out of bed and opens the door, but there is no one outside. Looking down at the floor, he notices a white box that someone left on his doorstep. He brings the mysterious find inside and carefully opens it. Inside are simple scissors and a sheet of paper on which a green apple is drawn. The man picks up scissors and cuts the air several times with them to check the find, but nothing unusual happens. He takes the paper, cuts out the drawn apple and examines the resulting cutout. Again, nothing out of the ordinary. Deciding that someone just played a stupid joke on him, the man puts the drawing on the table and looks around the room in search of leftover food. He checks the coffee can, but it's empty, as is the bag of chips on the trash littered table. The man looks around in disappointment and suddenly notices a green apple that lies next to the mystical scissors. Without even thinking about where it came from, he bites the fruit. A guess immediately arises in his head and he examines the apple with surprise, after which he examines the contents of the white box again to see if there was anything else hidden there. After making sure that there were only scissors and a drawing, the man decides to check the scissors again and cut out a cup of coffee from the advertising booklet. He looks intently at the drawing, but it remains paper. Grinning at his stupid idea, the man throws the paper on the floor, after which he hears the sound of broken dishes behind him. He sits down and tastes the liquid that is spread across the floor. After the cup has fallen in amazement, the man realizes that it is coffee and he has got magical scissors in his hands which bring to life anything that he cuts out of paper. The man is immediately visited by obscene thoughts and he runs to the wall with erotic posters. He tries to rip off one of them, but inadvertently tears it in half. After that, he turns his attention to a nearby poster which depicts an equally attractive girl. He throws back the covers, puts the poster on the bed and starts carving the girl he wants for himself. In the process, he can't help but get excited and smirk, imagining what he'll do to the model once she comes to life in his bed. When the man reaches the girl's head with scissors, he is distracted by a phone call. Because of this, his hand slips and he accidentally cuts off the head of the model and the poster. Terrified, he puts the pieces with the body and head next to him and runs to the table to find scotch tape among the rubbish. Finally, he finds the right item in the locker and joyfully runs back to the bed. But the mess in the room slows him down again. The man slips on spilled coffee, which he never wiped off the floor. The man falls to the floor and hurts himself. Raising himself, he discovers that women's legs are in front of him, his mouth gaping in horror, he feels that something is dripped on his head. Raising his gaze higher, the man realizes that the girl from the picture has come to life, but not quite in the form he would like, in the place where the head of a beautiful model should have been. Now blood oozes in jets flowing down her slender body. Turning his gaze to the bed, the man notices the second part the girl's bloody head. She looks at him and smiles beautifully, just like on the poster from which he cut her out unsuccessfully.